you know, uh, <laughs> male and female interactions. Oh, mate. Like, I don't have a lot of people that I despise, but this might be just because of the artistic um, individual involved, the, mu the uh, fucking genius level musician who I've kind of unfortunately had to um, cut ties with and lose because of just every time I see him, I think of his annoying partner, <laughs> right? And so far, ever since they announced their relationship, his music quality has kind of dwindled since they've kind of got together. But God almighty, is there not a more annoying person in the world in the history of the UK than Jamila Jamil? She's kind of our Chrissy Teigen, isn't it? She's found out a way of inserting herself in every single situation all the time. And again, most of the time it's okay because she just kind of occupies that space over there. Do your thing, run around, do your thing, blah, 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 blah. blah. But the moment she kind of infringed on my world, she started dating James Blake, one of my favorite flipping musicians and artists in this country. And then now she's kind of, you know, getting out of her soapbox and continue complaining about this and that, that and this. And then guess what she decided to do? All right, as a way to kind of insert something in the conversation, as per usual, she decided to make the whole Meghan Markle situation all about her somehow. It's a flipping talent, these people. It's a talent with these people. It's a talent. How can you make the situation occurring between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and uh, Piers Morgan, you know, that interview of flipping Oprah? How can you suddenly insert yourself into that? What does that have to do with you? Is she Meghan Markle's friend? No. Is she one of Prince Harry's childhood friends? No. Does she know Piers Morgan? Mm, no, Lucy. They They've had some tit for tats on the TV, but that's it. She saw one thread, one opening, and she's flipping, kicked the door off its hinges, perked in, and said, What are we having for dinner? Do you know what I mean? She got involved straight away. Straight away, she got involved. It's so annoying. It's so annoying because, if anything, it diminishes Meghan Markle's account. It also maybe adds credence to what Piers Morgan, that flipping idiot, was saying when he's flipping wobbly jawline. It makes credit to what he was saying. And in general, it just taints the entire thing because no one wants to hear from you. Usually people say, hey, when a victim is speaking, you should be listening, right? There's a whole phrase people use in their press conf in their press releases. We're listening, we're listening. Why is she listening? Why isn't she flipping Ferme La Bushing and just listening to what people are actually saying instead of sticking a flipping nose in? What does that have to do with her? It has nothing to do with her. Especially at this moment. Yes, you had a bad experience with Piers Morgan, but let the thing marinate a little bit. Let people kind of have some, you know, outpouring support for Megan for a while. And then you can maybe come out and pop your hand out and say, I also had an experience. But right away, right away, and then the flipping gif of yourself, like flicking your hair back on the award, on the red carpet. Well, like, what is wrong with this woman, bro? She's, she's not right in the head. I, I swear to no, she's not right in the head. So this is a tweet itself. It says, I almost killed myself a year ago because Piers Morgan relentless campaign of lies and hatred against me last February. I'm glad I'm still alive. Oh my God, the dramatic, the drop, the, the, the flipping theatrics. Yeah, I'm glad I'm still alive today for many reasons, but watching him leave GMB today is right up there and has me feeling flick of the hair over the shoulder. Like, what, what kind of narcissist decides to make a tweet? Again, let's say you believe what she's saying and let's say you are okay with her inserting herself on the, you know, in, in the midst of this very heartbreaking and tragic story and account that Meghan Markle's going for. Everyone's kind of showing an outpouring of support and, you know, uh, rallying behind her, wherever they believe her account, whether they think she's a media whore, whatever. Everyone's really saying, you know what? That's too far. That's too far. It's a little baby. You shouldn't be asking about skin color. And obviously that's too far too. She shouldn't be considering suicide. People are like, you know what? We might not like her, but that's a line we're not going to cross, right? Let's say you actually agree with her account. Is it right for her to kind of get involved? What, was it on the day the flipping interview went out? She put this flipping tweet out or when he got fired the day of? Like, come on, bruv. What's that have to do with you? Has nothing to do with you whatsoever. Zero. But she's inserting herself as she always does into every single conversation, bruv. And it's frustrating because, like I said, it's tainted my experience listening to James Blake. I can't listen to James Blake anymore because every time I listen to him, I think of this lady's face. I think of her holding up a hand not even holding up a hand shouting above everybody else and kind of letting everybody know about her pain and her trauma and everyone else is going through stuff as well it's like come on relax we're gonna get around to you in a minute right it's not as if I'm not telling her she can't share her experiences but let's go around the circle it's Meghan Markle's turn now she's there you're over there wait your turn bruv it's so annoying it's like that person in the airplane when everyone's getting the flipping uh, food on the plane long haul flight and you're putting your hand up they're saying oh can I get one too yeah wait bruv did you see what the flipping air students are doing they're going row by row you don't need to put your hand up. I'm going to get to you, bro. Relax, relax. That's what she kind of looks like. It's just, oh, so annoying. And then the second one, as uh, a genuine question. And again, the, how expert she's inserting herself. The whole issue with Meghan Markle, and of course, this tragic circumstances with this, um, what's, her, what's her young lady's name here? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
this lady here, right? Sarah, what's it? Uh, Sarah Everard. She definitely got herself involved in there as well. If Meghan Markle, if, if, if getting herself involved on the Meghan Markle train wasn't enough, she then inserted herself in a conversation regarding the whole Sarah Everard conversation when it comes to how men um, approach and deal with women in public and said, a genuine conversation, a genuine, sorry, question for the men who follow me online. Right, follow me online again. Ugh. I've been in a situation countless times. A man approaches me on, on a man approaches me to hit on me. I have again, <laughs> this woman, bro. This these humble brags. Oh God, she's she's awful, isn't it? She's awful. A woman has died, bro, and they're using it as opportunity to humble brag that you're cute. Like, what kind of person are you? Who is this person? Who raised you? Again, let's start from the beginning. A genuine question for the men who follow me online. I've been in a situation countless times. A man approaches me to hit on me. I don't want to talk to him. How do I get out of the conversation without being responded aggressively? However polite I am, it always ends badly. Do you believe that she's polite? Forget the account of the story because, you know, objectively people can say she's hot, but whatever. Say what you want to say. Who cares? People can even say, you know, how often is she out in public on the streets with regular people? Who knows? Whatever. Let's say we believe everything she's saying. Just the end bit. Do you believe that she's polite in her interactions outside, outdoors, especially when it's concerning men that she doesn't know? Do you honestly believe Jamila Jamil is a nice to men that she does not know? Women, fair enough, right? They're gonna come up and say, "Yo, my champion." Even though you, you know, you're flipping, you know, you, you, you're really attractive, and you got the rest of the gene pool. You're fighting for me, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, cool. But do you honestly think she's gonna be nice and polite to a guy that she doesn't know? Especially when she's in a public relationship, a very public one with James Blake or whoever she's with at the moment. I don't know who she, if she's still with him, but let's just say it's still James Blake at the time of recording. Do you honestly think this lady's gonna be nice? And polite to men that she doesn't know approaching on the street. Come on, bruv. Of course not. Does it obviously justify her getting rude response? Probably not. But let's not kind of let's not uh let's not kind of uh rewrite history here, right? Let's not rewrite the narrative. Let's not try and paint you out to be someone that you're not. And it's so annoying, bruv. So, I don't honestly, I don't get this lady. Like it's same with the Chrissy Teigen thing. Like just insert yourself in situations, right? The kind of over dramatization of every little thing you go through. Woe is me. Why? And again, why is it always the rich and the famous, the affluent, the ones that have all the access and have all the privilege are the ones that are always complaining, always telling you about their struggles? And real women day to day are having to go through what what that Sarah Everard woman went, went through you know lethal consequences just existing in the world right existing women other women sharing their kind of near on close you know cause that they've been involved in right sharing sharing some really horrendous stories that they've kind of had interactions when they've been out in the street late and that or whatever it, 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 it may be and here comes Jamila Jamil talking about some men when they want to talk to me I don't want to talk to them how do I return I'm polite get out of here man honestly bro it's so awful it's so odd it's so tone deaf like really, she's not living the wreck. She's not going through the same experience as every other normal woman at work that's living and existing in the real world, quote unquote. She's not. I refuse to believe it. I refuse. You're not. You're not living the same world. Yes, you might have similar struggles, but it's not the same experience. It isn't. So trying to correlate the two, just because you're, you 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 both happen to share the same gender, doesn't mean you're going through exactly the same things. Especially if you're if you're a celebrity, especially if you're a public figure, it's completely different. You live a completely different life, which is probably why she wants, she's so kind of hell bent on proving, hey guys, I'm normal just like you. I'm normal too. Hey, hey, I had these issues. Hey, I, I've got priv I've got disadvantages. I know I've been blessed by the gene pool and I've got a great upbringing or whatever she's got best that, that's been given to her that wasn't in her control. But I'm just like you. I'm just like you. No, you're not. You're not like us. You're not like them. And it's okay. That's the whole reason why people follow her because she's, she's not like, you know, most people, right? She's in the 1% of the 1%. Cool. Great. Use that to your advantage. I don't get this whole idea about like trying to make it seem like you're just like everybody else when you're clearly not and you don't go through the same experiences. You just don't. I just don't understand it. And the one underneath it, I have to say I'm another man's woman. I have to say I'm another man's woman in order for them to finally respect him enough to leave me rather than when I personally ask them to left alone. And even then, most men persist. Generally, how can men learn to take rejection better to make it easier on both of us? Like, oh my God, man, she's so awful, bruv. So awful. At a time when a person's been murdered, bruv. Fair enough if this was like a, a really unfortunate circumstance. Like, do you remember earlier on in the year, well, maybe a couple of years ago, a very crazy situation where a queer couple were assaulted on a bus? Remember that? Ages ago, I think it was in the UK, and they got, you know, those pictures of them with massive eyes. It was horrendous, right? 
um, I'm sure that 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 would have maybe been a better time to kind of put your head in up a parapet and say this is disgusting. I've been on the bus many times. Blah, blah, blah. But a woman was murdered, bro, murdered, right? And you are sharing experiences that you've allegedly have because of how pretty you are that have made you feel uncomfortable from your point of privilege. No sense of humility, no understanding that maybe you don't go through the same experience that everyone else goes through day to day. And also, it's still fresh. Like, shut up. You know what I mean? Like, read the room. No one wants to hear from you right now. Real women are speaking. Women in the actual real world who don't get, you know, chauffeured around and not on red carpets and shit. They are sharing their experiences, real life experiences. Stuff that's actually been festering inside of them for ages, eating away at them. They've finally been able to share it because there's painful moments that they can kind of have a little bit of a... Uh, you know, collective togetherness around. Like, come on, man. Like, what is this, bruv? What is this? It's so annoying. I I'm sure maybe other women don't really care because it just brings more attention to their cause. I understand that side of it, but I just find it so disingenuous, man. It's so disingenuous. Maybe, again, it touches more of a core for me because I'm a fan of James Blake. And it's just like, ugh. But Jesus Christ, she's so hard to kind of like. Such an unlikable person. That's the thing that I'm not like. Just, 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 just sit this one out. Sit this one out, Jamila. Sit this one out. Ah. <sighs>